Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are going to talk about a very very interesting topic. The moment we say atoms, the origin of atomic theory and things like that, we immediately start focusing on the western world, Europe especially because they revolutionized this entire concept of atom, John Dalton to be precise. But there are a lot of people who believe that the actual father of atomic theory is someone else. Someone else from the land of subcontinent who actually conceptualized the entire atomic theory 2500 years ago. A sage who goes by the name of Acharya Kanant. And in today's video, we are going to look into the life story and what this man actually accomplished regarding atoms in his lifetime. Without any further ado, let's dive into the video. Acharya Kanand was born in modern day Gujarat. The exact timeline of his birth varies from sources to sources. It is estimated that he was born somewhere between 6th century to 4th century BC, which means that he lived around 2500 years ago. We have very less details about his personal life other than the fact that as a young boy, he used to accompany his father a lot. He used to travel to a lot of religious festivals and pilgrims and even 2500 years ago, these kind of religious festivals were widely present in the country. And in India, there's a very common practice of showering flowers and rice grains in front of the divine, in the path of the divine. And that practice is present in this country to this very day. Anyway, he paid a lot of attention to rice grains. And people were always fascinated. Why was he showing so much attention to rice grains without knowing the significance of it? Now, this is again a very common thing that you will find amongst a lot of sages, saints and mystics from the nation of India. They always showed enormous attentions to even the minute of particles. And when Acharya Kanand was asked, he said that you don't understand the significance of this one tiny grain. This tiny grain collectively can make a meal for one person. And if that one person is well fed, he can feed his entire family. And if that entire family is well fed, they can do the agriculture for an entire village and he extended the importance of one single grain to feeding the entire planet. And it is believed that he sat down and he broke the rice grains as far as he could. He firmly believed that a particle can be broken down into various different particles, smaller and smaller with each time it's broken and finally we reach to a particle which will not be further broken down. And that particle, he named it as Paramanu or Anu, which literally translates to atom, thus conceptualizing atom for the first time. People started calling him as Kanan. Kan means the smallest particle in Sanskrit. And not just that, he started spreading his knowledge to others. He started teaching people about atoms and thus he gained the name Acharya. So Acharya Kanan put together, the coinage of that word means teacher of the smallest particles. He researched a lot and theorized a lot about atoms and the nature of the universe and he compiled all his knowledge and created a book which was known as the Vaisheshik Darshan in which he spoke about the nature of the universe and how the entire universe is made from one particle and that particle cannot be destroyed and it has always been there and it will continue to be there forever, an eternal particle known as atom. He went one step further and he also mentioned that how different combinations of atoms provides different substances. He also spoke about the changes in terms of chemistry and energy when different atoms are combined together. And not just that, he also spoke about binary molecules where two different anus, atoms of the same class combine with each other to form one single atom. Acharya Kanan had so much knowledge over atoms that he founded his own school which was known as the Vaisheshik school of philosophy. In other words, it was his ashram where a lot of students enrolled and studied about atoms. He was a very very famous sage back in the day and he taught and spread his knowledge as far as he could. And that is the reason why a lot of people believe that he was the first human to talk about atoms. And that is why some people believe that he was the actual father of the atomic theory. But does the Western world recognize Acharya Kanan? They do recognize him, but they call his theories more of an empirical way of theories. They call him as an empiricist, which means that almost all his knowledge came from realization. 
and again that is something which is very common in a lot of Indian sages and saints most of their knowledge came from realization because it did not come from looking outward rather it came from looking inward that is where this entire concept of saying that whatever all the answers that you seek lies within you anyway Dalton's atomic theory is considered to be more rational more scientific than what Acharya Kanan did but about 2500 years ago for a man to even think about atoms is something extraordinary let alone conceptualize it let alone research about it write an entire book on it and start an entire institution and then go on about sharing the knowledge to a lot of people in his nation so what do you think about this man and i would love to hear your thoughts down in the comment section below and until i see you again with another interesting topic like this take care stay home and stay safe i'm gonna take it